Okay, here's a little task that I'm about to uh, perform that I thought I would share with the world. Uh, making this awesome storyboard looking thing and I decided to put an icon of a book. And then I decided to get more complicated and make it look like a three-dimensional book. So it's got these, this raised wall and then this thing right here is going to flip over and be like a lid on that. But when I 3D printed it, um, this ended up taking a lot of material. So, so it took a lot of material and I want to actually make it take half as much or even less. So if you zoom in, if, if I hit F, it zoom, it'll zoom in on it and you can see the thickness of this plate underneath. That's what I want to reduce. And so what I've done is I created a platform right here, just this empty, it's a hole, it's not a solid. And let's see, I click on this and I can see that it's two, the thickness of two, but that's, that's the entire thickness. This thing I shrank down to one. And now what I want to do is put a, a plane right on top of it. So this is no longer, you know, this is sitting lower than this. And so what I can do now is click on this and hit D and it'll drop. In this case, it rises up to the height of this plane. Now I'm going to drag it this way and I'm going to hold shift so it kind of stays in the same line. Looks like I didn't make this big enough. So I'm going to click on it and expand it a little bit. Might need to expand it this way. Definitely need to expand it this way. All right. So now it should be sitting right on it. Uh, looks like I need to come out a little further. Okay. So it's just like a, a plate that this is sitting on now. And what I want to do is drop it down. I want to embed it into that plate. Um, and the way I can do that is just grab this. Whoops. Looks like it's grabbing the plate. Let me click off. Let me click on this. And now make sure I've got that. Okay, good. So I'm going to hit D so it drops back down. And what I need to do now is just sink it in a little bit. Now you can already see that I've dropped it into it a little bit. I've cut it in half, essentially. The thickness is half what it used to be. And that might be good. That might be enough. But I'm going to try just a little more. Uh, looks like the increments that I set are 0.5. I should probably go to 0.25. And I'll drop it down. Yeah, let's see. That might be... If, if it's sturdy enough when I print... And what I'll do is I'll print just a portion. Like I, I've, I've printed just the arm here a couple times. Uh, I cut and hide everything else. And I just print a little sample just to see if it's sturdy enough. If that proves to be the right thickness, then this will be perfect. And so what I want to do now is join these two by hitting group. And then I'll put the plane back to normal. And then I'll click on this and hit D so it drops down to the normal uh, level. And now it's time to do a little sample print. And what I'll do there is I'll go like this just to hide everything except for this little piece. And then I'll just export that little piece and use that as my little sampler. All right, so that's it.